thought I was gonna wear this, but I actually wore this. I like planned to wear this, but I never wore it. I wore this. <laughs> Should have worn this, wore this. Glad I didn't wear this. Oh, why didn't I wear this? <laughs> Hey beautiful people, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, The Flow Show with your curvy girl, Flo. My channel is all about looking fierce, staying frugal, and feeling absolutely fabulous at any size. So if any or all of those things sound good to you, I suggest clicking the subscribe button. Today's video is an homage, homage? I feel like that's how you say it, right? Yes, an homage. Yeah, okay. Today's video is an homage. <laughs> that does not sound right. Today's video is an homage to my summer outfits. I am not saying that right, but whatever. We need to move on. This is kind of like uh, what I thought I would wear this summer versus what I actually wore this summer. That seems like a wordy title. I'm sure that there's like a faster way for me to say that. And I will brainstorm it. I, <laughs> I say this almost constantly on my channel now. I wish that I was better at posting this summer. I was a little bit bad. A little bit bad at it. Summer just like goes by. You're doing things, seeing people. Between my job, family visiting. I went to Ontario. I went to New Brunswick this summer. It was busy and when you're on the go you don't always wear the outfits that you like carefully lay out and plan to wear i thought that i was totally going to wear my summer dresses all summer but my job for the most part was being a nanny and so dresses are not always practical sometimes i i did get to wear some of them sometimes with some shorts underneath but like i really thought i have all of these summer dresses Summer dresses are kind of my thing. I love to feel like girly and cute, throw on a cute jean jacket. So I really thought that I would be wearing more of those. I usually wear those when I'm working a job where I tend to wear business casual. So as a nanny, like I was definitely just wearing shorts and t-shirts exclusively. I was looking for family friendly options. It was pretty liberating. It was the first summer that I really, truly wore shorts in my adult life. I wore denim shorts. I wore biker shorts. I wore sweat shorts. I feel like those are all the shorts I have, but I wore them with confidence. Was I hesitant sometimes? Yes. Did I sometimes feel like people were staring at my jiggly legs? <laughs> Yes, probably. But I was very proud of myself. I did buy my first pairs of jean shorts and I did wear the denim ones, but I never wore the white ones, which I kind of wish that I did. Did not have an opportunity, I guess, to wear it. I mean, I probably did, but I always stress about like getting something on white pants or white bottoms, any white that I'm wearing really, <laughs> because as soon as I put on something white, guaranteed, I'm gonna spill something on it. That's probably why I haven't worn them yet. They still got the tags on them. I mean, I'm not gonna take them back, but like, I'm just saying, like they're gonna be fresh for next summer. White shorts will still be in next summer. Anyway, I did challenge myself to wear shorts, not just wear shorts, rock shorts with confidence. And honestly, it was, it was a journey, but I feel like personally, I did it. I feel like I did the thing, right? Okay, boomer. <laughs> I also really thought I was gonna be like a little trendy girly and wear my big baggy oversized jeans with like cute tiny tops to kind of balance out, you know, the shape. I really had high hopes. I <laughs> I thought for sure that I was gonna wear this look. When, where? The short answer is I didn't at all. Uh, I didn't wear the baggy jeans at all. It was too hot. It was too darn hot. So, so much for that. I can still wear them with tiny tops in the fall and spring, I guess, but it won't be the same vibe. I'll need to wear like a little jacket or a little cardigan or something with it. So, mm -hmm, I don't know. I probably would have worn them if I cut like big fashion holes in them. Does that make sense? Fashion holes? Like fashionable, large, distressed holes in them. I think I would have worn them more if it would have had like a little ventilation system going, you know? But honestly, I do kind of like them the way they are. Whenever I buy jeans to distress, it doesn't happen because I'm too like, 
what if I don't like them? <laughs> Big, huge holes in the knees seems very like permanent. If somebody could tell me what the best video on YouTube is to like direct me how to do this properly, that'd be great. I just have too much fear to do it. Maybe I'll get this cold season without holes in them because then they might be too cold to wear in the winter, you know? I'll see how much I wear them. And if I don't, then this spring, snip, snip. Getting the scissors. Instead of wearing jeans, I wore this specific maxi skirt multiple times, probably because that's the one that I brought to Ontario with me. So like, I did have multiple looks with that, but I just found that that was kind of like easier and breezier than denim. Also, I really thought that I would wear more of my fancy tops this summer. Again, this plays into the nanny life and not really wearing fancy looks. It was more so about t-shirts and like tank tops. Um, I do have a lot of very cute summer tops and those are honestly what I should have worn with my baggy jeans. But like I said, it was too hot. And I also didn't go anywhere like fancy. And also if I did, <laughs> Also, I would probably be wearing a dress. So that was where we're coming into a problem where I just have too many clothes. That's the main problem. Instead of wearing all my fancy tops, I ended up just making kind of like cuter casual looks, especially with these little cute bralettes that I got that I showed off in my last video. I, I love these, obsessed. Double function, it's a bra. It also kind of looks like a bathing suit top. I just was obsessed with them. I wore them all the time. I also had some weddings that I had to go to this summer, which I had entirely planned out looks to wear to both of them that I did not wear. I actually wore two of my newer dresses that I got in my cider haul video. So the ones that I ended up wearing were gifted to me from cider. So like for wedding one, wedding one was more of a dressy wedding and I had planned to wear this black skirt and top look. I just couldn't make it work. That was the problem. I couldn't make it work. The skirt in my mind was fancier than it is. I just couldn't find the right top to wear with it, honestly. I love the skirt. I think it's very cute, but with what I have, I couldn't make the look come together. Any top that I tried was either too casual or inappropriate or too dressy. I don't know. It just was like, it was not it. So I did end up wearing this dress, which was everything. It was so good, so cute, didn't show sweat, was a standout piece, but wasn't looking like you were trying too hard, didn't look like you were trying to like upstage the bride. That is never the goal. So this look, perfect. Literally perfect for the wedding that I went to. Then the next wedding that I went to, I was planning, planning on wearing this little blue lace dress. It was kind of like, it was a country wedding. And honestly, this dress still would have fit in really well. The wedding party was wearing, the men were wearing like jeans and it was almost like a Canadian tuxedo in a way. It wasn't, but like in a way. And all the bridesmaids wore like these beautiful dresses that were in shades of denim. And it was like a country, like trucks. It was just like a truck wedding. As a matter of fact, the bride literally, her dress caught on fire from one of the trucks doing a burnout. For their photos if that gives you an indication of the kind of wedding this was like so this would have been great i did end up wearing this dress which was i have to say like a total look a total vibe but not the right vibe for this wedding probably i honestly felt a little bit out of place i should have worn this but I wore this and it honestly didn't last long, this wedding. My favorite thing about this wedding was that it was super casual, super chill. After the dinner and like things started, I basically immediately changed into leggings and a crop top. And that's what I wore when I was dancing and I was like super comfortable. It was awesome. It was such a fun wedding, super fun. Shout out to my cousin who got married. Hope you had the best day ever. It was so, so fun. Ultimately what I've discovered is that I have too many clothes to wear all the things that I own in like one season, which is a problem. That's kind of a problem. I think that I'm gonna have a clothing swap coming up soon, please, because I need to get rid of some things or I'm gonna start selling stuff because it's gotta go. It's gotta get out of my closet. It's outrageous. So I might need some help deciding what things I'm gonna keep. I might need to do an entire video series on like all of my pants. <laughs> voting for what needs to stay and what needs to go. All of my tops, all my jackets, I don't know. That might be boring. That's it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to watch as always. Um, if you're not subscribed, why? 
If you're not subscribed, the button is right there. So make sure you hit that button. Leave a like below if you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment of your favorite outfits, your least favorite outfits, so I get an idea of what to get rid of, because I have a problem. <laughs> As always, stay fierce, frugal, and fabulous. And we'll see you next time. Oh.